I'm patient, especially when it comes to saving money and buying stuff I don't need. I can wait unless it's limited edition. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. I have another haul for you. Y'all know I talk about all the time. I love shopping and I love a sale. So today we have some shopping on some stuff that was on sale. I picked up some stuff from Ulta, Sephora, and then two other surprise brands that I want to share with you guys today. So we're going to jump straight into the video. But before we do, you know the drill. I say it every time. If you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload. I won't keep you waiting any longer. If you want to see the products that I picked up in my most recent haul, then stay tuned and keep on watching. All right, gotta make sure I'm ready. Got my scissors, got my tweezers, staples in any haul video. We're gonna start off with, what are we doing first? Let's start off with one of the off brands. I say off brands, it's not an off brand, but it's not Sephora or Ulta. I decided to pick up a palette that I have wanted forever, and it's from Lunar Beauty. This is the Eternal Eclipse palette. I have been eyeing this since it came out, and I did not want to pay full price for it. So I've literally just been watching and waiting patiently as ever, and Manny MUA finally had a sale on Lunar Beauty. So I picked it up as soon as I got the notification of the sale. Honestly, I don't remember when it was, but yeah, this is what the packaging looks like. His packaging is so gorgeous. I do have, is it Strawberry Dreams? I think is the other one. I have that one as well. Love that palette. And then this is the palette. These colors are so gorgeous. Cool tone with some warm tones. I just gotta stick my finger in here. Very smooth gorgeous shade I don't think any of these are like duo chromes or anything like that they are just super metallic pigmented formulas so I'll swatch these three I'm not gonna keep y'all on this video forever with all the swatches so that's the swatches there I cannot wait these shades are so pretty and I've been more into cool tones I finally got on the cool tone bandwagon so I thought this palette was perfect because the transition shades are what you need for any look. And they are all different skin tones you could use. And then you got everything you need. So definitely excited about this palette. The other product I picked up from Lunar Beauty, I decided to pick up one of his lip, liquid lipsticks. This is in the shade Zaya. Zaya? I think that's the name of his dog, maybe? I'm not sure. But... Packaging, again, really pretty. Kind of reminds me, oh, I don't know what brand. Or maybe I've just seen it with his, but the component is really shiny, super pretty. This is the shade here, a very gorgeous wearable nude. Come on, camera. And then, ooh, that is very pigmented. That is a gorgeous shade. I'm not gonna put this on right now, but I will definitely keep this in my purse because this is a very, it's lighter than most of the nudes and it's a little more peachy than what I normally wear, but I think it'll be great with a brown liner. All right, so next we are gonna move on to Sephora. I, guys, I'm so sorry. I think it might've been a Labor Day sale. I'm not sure. One thing that I picked up is the Urban Decay Inked Brow Waterproof Brow Gel. This is in the shade Dark Drapes. I honestly think I just picked this up because it was on sale. It's a brow gel. I don't even have brow gel on right now. I kind of, oh, oh, okay, wait. So this is actually like, let's see. It says it's a brow gel, but it is a buildable waterproof gel that shapes and defines brows that are so low maintenance they won't budge for up to 60 hours. This is different. I don't know why I thought this was a regular brow gel. This is actually like, it's shaped like a brow brush. Very small. We're not gonna do this right now. I'm so tempted. 
Hmm. Okay. I thought it was going to be more pigmented than that, but literally like, so that's not going to be too bad. My brows have actually gotten a lot thicker, so I could see myself just running this through my brows to kind of shape them if I wanted to do more of a natural look, but I'm going to have to play with this and see. I also decided to pick up the waterproof brow gel in ozone. I think this stuff was like 50% off. And I always pick up brow gels, brow pencils, because I use that stuff literally every day, even if I'm not doing my makeup. Packaging is cute, this is lilac purple. And then this is just a clear, why does it say? I don't know why I thought ozone was gonna be dark. This is just a clear brow gel. So that's what the brush looks like. Very small and it is clear, which I don't have anything on my brows right now. So, yeah. I picked up another palette. This one, I think I, I feel like I was watching this one, but I don't know y'all. <laughs> I don't make up any excuse if it's on sale. I wanted it, that's what the answer is. This is the Natasha Denona Cranberry palette. I only have one other five pan palette from her and it's the one that I got in my boxy charm. I forget the name of it. I'll put it on the screen, but it wasn't, I don't think it was one you could buy. I think it was just with boxy charm and I love it. I actually have that on my eyes right now, but this one, look at these colors. Absolutely beautiful. And I really like the formula. Ooh, that middle shade looks like a duochrome. I'm just gonna swatch two because I can't help myself. So this, this is the darkest shade and then this is the middle shade. Ooh, that is pretty. It does look like a duochrome. I hope that is coming off. I feel like you can't see it as much as I can see it, but yeah, that is a gorgeous shade. And it's like a peachy gold kind of pink. You can see it a little bit. Cannot wait to do a look with that. Probably will need to go into another palette just to darken up the outer V like I like to do, but definitely a wearable palette if you like a little bit of color. I have another palette. <laughs> I might have lost my mind a little bit. This palette's actually older, but I remember seeing it like probably years ago and I was like, oh my God, that is so nice, but I don't wanna pay that price. And it was on sale, I think at least for half off, if not more. This is the Tarte Unleashed Eyeshadow Palette. This is old. I know it is, but I didn't have it and I wanted it, so yeah. I'm trying to think, the only Tarte palettes I have are, I have, no, that's not Tarte. I have like the, um, y'all, I don't know, I'm gonna have to check because I'm not sure that I have that many Tarte palettes. So, uh-oh. Not a good thing when you open the package and you see eyeshadow sitting on the outside. I hope nothing is broken because I didn't open this. This comes with a Big Ego mascara in it, so that was nice. Ooh. Oh no. Glad I was paying attention. So one of these are already popped out. Is this a magnet? Okay, it's a magnet, but that could have been bad. Oh man, my palette's kind of messed up, but it's okay. So these are the shades here. And I just thought this was gorgeous, really pretty, and it's very wearable, but any palette pretty much that has a blue or a green, and I remember swatching that blue and thinking it was beautiful, Barbara's probably gonna gravitate towards it. So this is just a few of the shades here that I'll go ahead and swatch for you guys. We know I always do. Ooh, yeah, that's pretty. I always do the shimmers. So that's three of the shades there. Very pigmented, color payoff is there. So I'm glad nothing got broken because it looks like this palette kind of went through the ringer, but she is okay. Let me also point this out. I love like holographic. Is it gonna focus on it? I love how that looks. Super cute and will be gorgeous on my vanity. The last two things that I picked up from Sephora are lashes. I have wanted to try the brand Lily Lashes for the longest, but y'all, I can't, 
I can't pay $20 for a pair of lashes. One pair? I can't. So these were on sale for half off. So it still was more than I want to spend for a pair. But a lot better than full price. I picked up the Lily Lashes Faux Minka Nose Light and the Miami Light. Yes, I picked up lights because I don't normally wear super big lashes. These are Minka Nose. And I've heard that these are a really great pair and that they are very easy to put on. I always get nervous when they have that thick band, but I think these are gonna be okay. These still look so dramatic. These are Miami light. These look so dramatic. And for these to be lights, you can just imagine what the regular ones look like. So I'm gonna show these in a video. Hopefully I can get them on, but yeah, I just, I had to wait for a sale to try these. So now we're gonna move on to the stuff I got from Ulta. The first thing that I picked up, they had a sale on this foundation and I've heard good things about it, but again, foundation, okay, if we name my favorite products in order, eyeshadow, foundation, and I don't know, cause it used to be primers. I used to obsess over primers, but then I got into blush. So I don't know, blush and primer have to kind of be neck and neck. But the first thing is this VDL Perfect, Perfect Lasting Foundation. I picked mine up in the shade V06. Hard to pick the shades based on what they had on the website. And then I hate how sometimes they'll show colors available, but they don't show the swatches for it. I don't know. Um, I picked up two shades. The other one I picked up was way too dark. So I brought it back. And it says that this is basically a lightweight liquid foundation with a natural matte finish, buildable medium to full coverage. It says shake well, but I'm gonna show you guys. Of course, it comes with a pump. Whoa, that came out quick. And then that is what the foundation looks like there. So you see it is runny. I didn't mean to pump that much out. So I'm gonna take a little bit off. This is probably gonna be a little dark. Ooh, I don't know. I'm gonna let this dry down. I'm gonna add a little bit more because I wiped too much off, but I'm gonna let this dry down and see. I like the texture of this. It feels very lightweight. Shade is my color, which <laughs> I would say is a little light, but hopefully it dries down. I always pick my foundations dark, we know this. So we're gonna see what it looks like when it dries down. I'm gonna show you guys after it's completely set because I think it is gonna get darker, but that is definitely a good match for me. I also picked up their primer because it was on sale. And I do like to try, like if there's a primer and a foundation by the same brand, I do like to try them together. This is the Velvet Blur Primer. And I was about to say everything on the back is not in English, but it's at the bottom. It doesn't say anything about it except how to use it. So shake well before use, that is it. Same packaging as the foundations. I'm just gonna, oh. okay. These both are taking me completely by surprise. Coming out of the packaging, getting this all over my desk. Wasn't expecting that to be liquid like that, so. Let's see if I can rub this in. Hmm. It does kind of give, I don't know if you can see that. It kind of gives a white cast. It smells powdery. This is different. I do notice a little bit of a white cast on my arm here, which you probably can't see, but, huh. I don't know what this formula is. I'm gonna have to do some more research, but I definitely see how it could be blurring. So I'm gonna have to try this soon and keep you guys updated. Have you tried this before? Have you heard of it? Comment and let me know if anybody has tried this because I would love to hear your thoughts. All right, next up, we have some Jaclyn Hill products. Now, I've only tried her eyeshadow palettes. That is it. And then she came out with face products. I think she has some base products now too, but I'm not on that bandwagon yet. We're just diving into these face products to see what the hype is about them because I hadn't tried it. I have 
I picked up one of these before. This is her bronze and blushing duos. I picked up, which one is this one? Okay, so this one has B Rouge and Espresso Shot. These, I like the packaging on these a lot. It kind of reminds me of like Pat McGrath packaging with the black and the acrylic. And then this is what this one looks like. I love bronzers that have a bit of a sheen to them. Very, very smooth. Those are the two. I don't know why I put them on my fingers like that, but those are the two there. And I should have swatched this on my other hand. Bronzer is definitely going to give me some warmth, so happy about that. That's the bronzer. That's the blush. I picked this up before, and it came in. Actually, I picked it up at the store. It was like the last one, and I was like, let me grab it and try it. And then I got home, and somebody had swatched it and just put it back, so I brought it back. But... This is going to be gorgeous. I wish it wasn't so bulky because this would be great to travel with, but not traveling with something this big. The other one, again, this one is Hot Lava and Rich Cocoa, which honestly, I just wanted it because I thought that blush shade was going to be gorgeous. So this is like a perfect summer blush. Bronzer might be a little too light, but you can see those are the shades there. And then, ooh, yeah, that blush is gorgeous. Bronzer's a little light, but I know I could still get some pigmentation. Okay, I don't know why I turn like that. <laughs> this is the bronzer here. So you can see it. And then that's the blush. So those colors are, those are going to work. I also picked up two highlighters, mainly because I couldn't decide which one I wanted. So I think I'm only gonna keep one, but let's see. The first one I picked up is Mesmerize. I was trying to go by the shades on the models. This is the packaging for these. These are her, it just says highlighter. So I don't think these are, I know she has different types. So that is what this one looks like. It's kind of like a peachy gold, Almost rose gold, but not really. I feel like it's gonna be very, ooh yeah, that is pretty. Ooh, that's shinier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, well, I like that one. I thought that one was gonna be too dark for some reason, but clearly it's not. Then the other one I got is Iced. And now I think this one may be too light, but we'll see. I think this one is more of a champagne. Ooh, I don't know if that is, I don't think that's gonna be too light. That is so pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, she light. Yeah, that one might have to go back. I think that one's gonna go back because she is too light. I would look like a streak on my face. It is gorgeous though, but if you blend it out, oh yeah, I think that one's gonna go back. <laughs> That is going to go back. But this other one, she is a keeper. Mesmerized at the top is a keeper. I picked up another foundation. This is the Catrice HD Liquid Coverage Foundation. Now, I have this already, and I have it in shade 080 Caramel Beige, which I think is a little too light for me. This is 085 Chestnut Beige, and I'm hoping... I love this foundation. Absolutely love it. I'm hoping this one's going to be... Yeah, this is definitely going to be a better match for what I like. This foundation is so gorgeous. That looks a lot darker than I thought, but even still, I can mix it. I love the coverage of this. I love the finish of this. Like, this is a foundation that I love wearing by itself. I would not want to mix. So I have a lighter one. This one might be a little dark, but I can also finesse it or mix it with the lighter one. So... I just wanted to get another one that was more close to my shade now that they've expanded the shade range. I also picked up two pairs of lashes. These are the Glamnetic lashes. Now, how do you sell, because I didn't pick it up, I don't think. How do you sell magnetic lashes and you don't sell the liner that goes with it? Yeah, you have to have the Glamnetic mag their liner, and I don't think I picked that up. But anyway, um... I've heard really good things, seen this on Instagram a bunch of times, and these were on sale. This is a magnetic lash, which I do love them, 
but I hadn't tried this brand. So these are a very natural pair. They're a little long, but on the natural side, not too thick and bushy, and they're very wispy. This is in Vixen. So that's what the packaging looks like there. And then this other one is in Lucky, which looks a little similar, but it also crisscrosses, the lashes crisscross. So it's a little more dramatic. Is what that one looks like so a little fuller a little more dramatic but I guess I have to get their liner which I don't have another thing that I picked up that was also on sale is this Sunday Riley Tidal brightening enzyme water cream I think I've used this before I had a small size this is a very expensive skincare brand Sunday Riley is absolutely amazing though so you know the drill get it on sale when you can. This has hyaluronic acid, papaya enzymes, and alpha arbutrin to help with dark spots and discoloration. So that was my main motivation for picking it up. And it says that you basically just apply morning and night to clean dry skin. So a moisturizer, but hopefully, since my acne is clear, still working on dark spots, this will be something good to add to my skincare routine last from Ulta I actually picked up don't ask me why <laughs> three bottles of this this is the we dad we dad I have no idea this is their finishing mist this is a setting and holding spray for lasting touchable hold with movement and it says that this is for all curl types so if you've watched any of my wig reviews, most of the wigs that I like to wear regularly are the curlier pattern. I just feel like I don't have to worry about my curls falling. And I like those, but I don't like crunchy hair. I don't want it to be hard. And so this says it is a finishing mist and holding spray that has nourishing jojoba oil and hydrolyzed silk to create the ideal blend of softness and staying power for long lasting and defined curls. So it says you can use this as a light mist or you can spritz hair in sections and use it to help define your curls with curlers. So I will keep you guys posted on this. I hope it works because I got three bottles and I have a lot of wigs. I know my curly wigs are also really long and you go through a lot of products, so that's another reason why I picked up three bottles. Hopefully it's good, I'll keep you posted. One more thing from Ulta. This just came in and I was so excited. They just had a random 20% off one item coupon and this has been sitting in my saved for later section forever. This is the Lake and Sky 1111 perfume. Y'all, I went to Ulta one day I smelled this perfume and I was like, I need it. It's $100, so I didn't buy it because I already have a bunch of perfumes and I knew that I did not want to pay full price. So I said, I'm just going to wait till they eventually send me a 20% off coupon and I'm going to get it. And that's exactly what I did. I'm patient, especially when it comes to saving money and buying stuff I don't need. I can wait unless it's limited edition. <laughs> then I get FOMO. But other than that... This packaging is nice. I don't know, it's like a book. But look all that for this little bitty bottle. Really? But I can't wait to smell it. Cause I smelled it that one time. I hope it still smells as good. This is a very small bottle. I feel like that is small. I don't have anything on. Yep. Oh, I still love it. What does this remind me of? What are the notes? It says it's a bold unisex blend inspired by the teachings of what? Kundalini yoga and the color white. It is a sheer, clean and uplifting fragrance with an ethereal vibe. This smells really good. Definitely a clean scent. It's not my normal warm floral smell, but I just, I don't know. It, it got to me the first time I sprayed it and I've been holding on to it ever since. Just want to show you guys a quick update. This is the VDL foundation dried down. So that is literally, I feel like that's a good match for me. <laughs> I think, yeah, I like that. That's what I like, okay? Don't give me a hard time. 
I think this is gonna work great. I don't like stuff that makes me look yellow, so I always look for a neutral undertone, and I think this is neutral. It is not gonna come off as orange. Might be a little cool neutral, but I think it's gonna be perfect. And then this is the Catrice dried down. So yeah, she a little dark, but we'll mix it, it's fine. Now we're gonna move on. I have four more products. These I bought from Urban Decay. Urban Decay had their 30% off friends and family sale. I got two eyeshadow palettes that I have watched and watched and talked myself out of. Well, one I talked myself out of, the other one I was waiting for a sale. The first one is the Ultraviolet palette. Now this one, I could have gotten this half off before and I still was like, no, I don't want it. I don't want to pick it. I don't want it. I don't want it. But I did. I don't have any Urban Decay palettes. So I finally ended up biting the bullet. These are the shades here. Y'all know I love purples. This kind of reminds me of that Rimmel purple palette. I don't remember the name of it. This shade in the middle is screaming to me, even though this whole palette is purple. I just love how that looks. It's called Lucid. Let's swatch her. She's giving me, she's not a duochrome. I don't know what this is. Is it a matte? It's not a matte. It has a weird kind of, it's not a duochrome, but I don't know, definitely different. Gorgeous shade, let's check Dazed and VR. I don't like VR. Dazed is cute. VR is like a matte with some shimmer in it that is probably gonna fall out on your face. You can't even see that right there. And I can't even build it up. It's literally just like glitter. You can't hardly see that. I think I remember swatching this palette in the store and I said I wasn't impressed, but for whatever reason, I couldn't let it go. Let's try Purple Dust and warning those shades are nice i don't know it was i don't know guys <laughs> i mean it's nice and i swatched it in the store and i said i don't need it not not impressed and then i bought it who does that this next palette though i was ready to grab it when it came out but we needed to wait for a sale this is the naked wild west palette so I went from no Urban Decay palettes to two. I never picked up any of the other ones. I just never felt like, I don't know. I think when they came out, I wasn't that much into makeup, but this is gorgeous. And I see this makes up for it. I love that this is cool tone neutrals, but there's also some gorgeous shimmers in here and a little bit of warm too. Of course, that kind of bluish green shade I'm swatching some mattes for you guys. And of course this shade in the middle bud. So those are some of the shades there. So this is Tex, which is that blue. Then this is the darkest shade, which is Pony Up. And then we have the greenish kind of shade, which is Bud. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And then the gold, which is Hold'em. So, those are pretty colors. That's a lot of pigmentation. Still on my finger and there. The other th two things that I picked up aren't really that impressive. It was just kind of like, let's make sure I get free shipping. I picked up the All Nighter Lightweight and non cakey is this the translucent powder? All Day Shine Control Softening Loose Setting Powder. So, ooh, I hope this does not have flashback. This is... Looks like it's pretty light. Oh, I hate these sifters. It has that little mesh net sifter. I hope you guys can see the shade. I feel like my lights are a little too bright. It looks kind of like an off-white, but yo, I hope this is not like that freaking Tatcha powder. Where are we swatching you? Feels a little like the Tatcha. That is it right there. That is not something I'm gonna bake with, but hopefully I'll still be able to use it and not look like Casper. And then the last thing I picked up is one of their sharpeners. I think this was like four or five dollars. I have sharpeners, but I like this one and I'm gonna put this in my makeup bag because it has a lid so you can keep this covered and it's not gonna make a mess. My other one doesn't and sometimes the shavings like stay in the top and then they fall in my bag. So I just thought this was clean 
and easy. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment below, let me know which products you're excited about. Do you have any of this stuff? What do you want me to show first? I definitely cannot wait to try that foundation. Hopefully it's as good as the claims are, but I will let you know. If you made it to the end, thank you. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're new, I hope you hit that subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. It's not the way you said it.